This is a tree sap stove. <laughs> All it took was a tree sap and a can and a pulp for a very large size hole around it. Uh, big enough for air to kind of really flow through, especially if it's a tall can like that. And uh, this thing will burn for hours. Well, <laughs> no, never mind. Not for hours, but several, several minutes. Um, I did a large chunk one time, about yeah, yay big, in a uh, can of chili or something like that, you know. And I think it lasted about 20 minutes. Uh, it does produce a lot of smoke. This stuff is actually pretty gray compared to what it did before. It's pitch black. But uh, tree sap is a pretty amazing material. You can, uh, well, when it, if you melt it and then it dries, it turns into a very hard resin. You could use that as a glue. Oh, sorry, smoke getting in my face. <laughs> and uh, I also hear that the way they will traditionally do it is mix, mix it with charcoal to make uh, that for the glue. I'm not sure why they do that, uh, but apparently it makes a very good uh, primitive type of black glue. I use it for uh, temporarily, you know, taping on uh, arrowheads and stuff like that. And then of course you do the twining as well. And uh, let's see, you can uh, waterproof both with it. You know, you can uh, put the pitch inside of a... Oh, there, it's not caught by. <laughs> um, yeah, you can uh, use it to melt melt into cracks, and uh, that will waterproof your boat. Uh, I've heard some people say you can use it for chewing gum. I don't know about that. <laughs> it really doesn't taste all that great. It does get your fingers rather sticky, and I so far don't really have a cure for that, <laughs> except just maybe get some dirt on it, let it soak it up, and just over time <laughs> let it go away. Wash your hands several times. But yeah, you, you can figure out other ways to work with that without doing your hands super uh, dirty. But yeah, this should burn for a very long while. As once it gets going, like I said, you gotta you gotta poke the four holes in it, uh, big enough for air to flow, and then you gotta light it from inside one of the holes, and you gotta have a good sized flame, like from a match or a good lighter. And uh, it's pretty really hard to put out. Uh, any air that really goes into those holes only does to kind of feed the fire. Oh, never mind. <laughs> that took it out. It could just be the kind of can I'm using. This is only the second time I've done it. But uh, last time when I had the open end uh, chili can, you could blow on it as hard as you wanted from any direction and it just shot up all the more in flames. This one, not so much. <laughs> so, yeah. Just something you can experiment with if you want. Careful, it will get hot. Um, if you've done any sort of candle work or anything, you'll know that you can touch the bottom, the base, uh, below where the flame has been, and that should be cool enough to touch. But uh, don't take my word for that. <laughs> um, and yeah, so there you go.